Good morning, everybody. I don't know what I just saw across the road, but I uh, you know, looked kind of, you know, as you do, you know, you're moving your eyes around, and I looked back to straight to right, and there was something long and cat-like going across the road. I don't know what the heck it was. Um, could have been a cougar. I don't know. But, never know. It kind of had the shape of a cougar. Oh, all right. It is Sunday. Oh, they're doing team photos over there. Could have photo bombed. Oh, it's Sunday, and we've been going to breakfast on Sunday, so I think that's what we're going to do today. Nice to have something um, different, you know what I mean? And last two Sundays, I got burgers, and the burger's all right, but they put all the sauce on there and the bun. I don't know, it's, the bun won't even hold the burger. It's, it's just kind of a mess. I think we're just going to go with biscuits and gravy this morning. And I feel like orange juice, so I guess I'll go ahead and get the meal. Um, you know, I think it comes with, like, uh, tater tots or whatever, you know. So we'll get the meal this morning. I don't think I'm going to eat at the restaurant, though. I think I'd rather go to work and eat. Just, I don't know. So today, it is only going to get a high of like 65 degrees in town, and it's supposed to be in town uh, down to like freezing tonight, so I could definitely see uh, teen temperatures out, out outside of town tonight. Last night, I left, um, oh, I left my light on a lot again last night. And I was really surprised when I got up to brush my teeth this morning and, get, and empty my jug and whatnot. Um, there were four people in a little square, kind of right behind me. Uh, kind of surprised. Because that light, that light would have been shining right where they are. Because the only goes behind me. I mean, you get your window coverings in, it wouldn't matter, but I'm just kind of surprised. But uh, this morning, I got up about, uh, let's see, just before 6, maybe? 5.30? I turned the diesel heater on. Then about 7, I was gonna, I'm trying to take another little nap before I had to get out of bed. And it was getting a little warm. It was up to 71. So I cracked the, I just opened the uh, exhaust fan's lid, and it didn't, it really didn't get any warmer in there. So I think tonight, when I go to bed, I'm going to turn the diesel heater on, because it's going to be cold. And uh, we'll just crack, I'll just open the lid. Uh, if, I, if it gets hot, I'll wake up, and I can always turn the fan on a little bit. But I have a feeling it's going to be cold enough, and with just the lid open, the uh, hot air will exhaust, and we'll get a pretty decent sleep with the diesel heater running all night, right? And I'm doing 40 and a 35, and this person's like on my bum. I don't understand. It's all 25 up here. Not like you're going to get anywhere in a hurry. But, I don't know. Some people... Okay, uh, kind of cool if that was a cougar. I could have seen it. Of course. What does it matter if I don't get it on camera, right? Never been able to get a cougar on camera. All right, well, I'm heading to Carl Jr.'s. We will see you guys uh, probably after work. Well, afternoon, everybody. All right, so we're out of work. It's already chilly. Um, we're heading back to where we're going to camp tonight. Hopefully, again, we got uh, some room. I'm pretty sure we will. So a while back, somebody told me when I was 
complaining about flies, and I think it was in Arizona I was complaining about them. I was told they only lived for one ugh, one day, and I'm like, I don't buy that. I just never paid it, never looked it up. I didn't care. I, they're just annoying as heck. I just looked it up. The common house fly, low activity, hanging out in a van, 28 days. I killed his other buddies just the other day. And that one stupid fly has been in here since. Yeah. All right, but it is cold. We are not stopping anywhere. I'm going to, uh, on the way home, we're going straight. We did, we'll get set up. And see how cold it already is there. Because like I said, it's it's chilly out here. I'm, I'd be putting on my coat right now, if I, you know, if I was outside at all. I almost wish I had it walk into the car. And it's a short walk, but you know, don't need it. But I will definitely wear it from the car inside when it gets even worse. Yeah, this, like I said, this is probably going to be the lowest temp we've seen since we've had the diesel heater. I'm expecting below 20 degrees tonight. Um, I think it's about 24 is about the lowest we've I've seen. Can't remember exactly, but it's going to be close to it. But I think it's going to beat it by a little bit. And that sun is just right in the face. Nobody's out on the water in the river right now. Well, well, there's some out there in a boat, but I mean, no paddle boarding or definitely no tubing. I have a light on the back. I must have left that on all day long. See, right there, lights on. Um, actually, you know what? I climbed in the back to see if uh, I needed something. Anything, you know, for now. Oh, man, I'm going to get this fly. I'm going to get him. But uh, I, I climbed in to check the fridge to make sure I didn't need anything. I bet you my back had it. Okay. Because I would have noticed that. Kind of hard not to. Uh, 28 days. I would bug bomb this place before I let this fly live for 28 days. And it's funny, they fly to the window. You open the window, hey buddy, go out, flies right away. You open two windows, you think they're going to cross breeze us? Nope. They go find a place in back and hunker down. That's what these flies do. Ain't no joke about these flies. But. And they know it's cold outside, so like when, it, when I get back to camp, I'll open the door, you know, and we'll hang out outside. You'll find somewhere tight. Low, you'll sneak somewhere where it's still a little warmer. He'll hang out there till I come back in here and go to bed. Then he'll start bugging my head. One good thing about the beanie, they don't you don't feel them bugging your head if there's flies in here. Because in other words, you feel everyone that touches your bald head. This fly is gonna die, I promise. And not in 20 something days. All right, well, I'm heading back. We will see you guys, uh, we'll get
get to camp. All right, you can't see them all because there are people behind there. But and going through that truck, they it just I mean, we're all halfway out into the parking lot, they're like three and four deep all the way back. Um, yeah, a lot of people came in here today, so I did find me a spot, but lots of people came in. I mean, I could squeeze in that one there. Um, but I'm, I want to leave my light on again tonight. And I could probably squeeze into one over there. And there's one at the very end. But I could go right here. But again, if I park right behind that blue van, my light's going right at somebody. Where I'm going right now, looks like there's going to be somebody right over there. Because there's a bike there. So probably a couple, three are going to come back in here tonight and take up this right in front of me. If they do, oh well. Because um, I'm liking leaving the light on at night. But, you know, there's some more right over there. So Okay, let's get set up. Well, good evening from camp, everybody. It's, it's chilly. It's already in the 50s. <laughs> and it's not even 7 o'clock yet. It's like 6.30. Um... So, I, you know, I changed clothes and whatnot and getting ready to come out here. And I open up the door and I, there's a cat sitting kind of where the camera is, maybe a little further back, uh, you know, 10, 15 foot away from the van. I stepped down. I took the camera. I was going to take a picture or film the little cat. And he starts walking this way. And he beelines it right underneath my chair. And I'm like, no, no, no. I knew exactly what he was going to do. Right into the van he went. Not, I mean, he was beelining it. He was going to live in there tonight. I don't know if his van took off and left him, or, and he's lost, or what, because he had a little collar with a bell on it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if he got separated from his van or what, or her. But he, he was going in a van. That was he. He was b rolling it, or you know, right in there. I mean, he went in there so quick he hit the carpet, slid it all, you know, before I could get him out of there. You know, I don't be in, he'd get in the garage and heck, who knows how I'd get him out of there. So I got to be vigilant. And you're thinking, oh, maybe the cat could have killed the fly, right? I killed the fly. The stupid little thing was in this window right here. When I went to put the window covering in, yeah, he didn't last that. <laughs> and it's too cold for more flies, I would hope, tonight. Unless there are more hiding in the in the wings back there. Sure could be. They could all be sitting underneath the garage waiting to come out. I hope not. But it's definitely too cold outside tonight for flies. They're, they're I'm sure, underneath something or whatever, they wherever they go to hide. But yeah, I, you know, I'm sure today I got comments about quartzite, but you know, it is what it is. I, you say one thing and five other people complain. You say the other the, the opposite way, the other five other people, the same five people complain. I, I don't know. Can't fix it. But like I said, it's just not for me. When it, when it, it quartzite, when it wouldn't be busy, not a bad place to swing through, like I said. But if I was on the move this year, I would probably be uh, going around SoCal in the deserts. Um, I found I found I know several places I can go for two weeks at a time down there. Um, I would definitely be moving around SoCal, uh, other parts of Arizona, maybe even New Mexico. I wasn't really. I had a hard time finding decent plates, places in New Mexico. I don't know why. You wouldn't think you would, but... Man, somebody's cooking something good again. Might be those big, the big groups over there having potlucks or something, but... Um, 
You know, and really with the uh, diesel heater, you don't, you ain't got to be, well, I mean, most people, that's what they want. They want to be in the desert. They want to be in, you know, 80 degree weather in the wintertime. Um, I actually like the cold, so. Oh, I think it's that dog over there. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how what the van does tonight. Like I said, I'm going to put it to, uh, we'll start the diesel heater up when I get in there. Um, I'm going to just crack the, the lid up top. And we're just going to let it go with low. And I ran it today for... Maybe two hours. <coughs> Tonight we will run it for 12 hours. So that will be, we will look at that amount and try, and try to double it for one day. Yes, yeah, so it'd be 14, it'd be like 28 hours. You want a little gap there, a little uh, wiggle room. But what we what we get from last night and tonight, you, you would expect to be about a half a day, um, maybe a little less because daytime it should be a little warmer. So, but it'll give us a good idea, at least what we're going to use on a cold night. So, what are we going to talk about today? What else do you want to talk about? Yeah, I see people still still hiking. Um, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I was still hiking this time on the PCT, but I was just about finished. I finished in a week. Uh, hit the terminus and came back, and I was done in one week from now. There's people who still got a long way to go. Uh, they're going to have a tough time uh, with the snow, because I know it's getting ready to snow. So I'm sure if there was any if there's any precipitation around, it's already snowing, and supposedly the uh, British Columbia and Alaska got a bum load of river uh, atmospheric river flooding them. So I would think uh, maybe some of northern Washington caught a little bit of that. I don't know, but it's another great day. We're gonna sit out here relax while it's still warm enough to. I mean, I could always put on more clothes, but. I do have to find my gloves. Is that day? I'll start wearing gloves. They're just little line, like liner gloves. Um, if it's chilly. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. Wish, wish me uh, good luck tonight on the on the weather. The van uh, works as it should. I should be fine. But I don't know. But I'm going to relax. I'm going to edit this video. I got some other things to take care of. Man, I got an alert today that I uh, my debit card was used at a Target store for like $720. Bucks. Um, of course, can't get a hold of them today. It's a Sunday. And I don't understand it because there's only uh, like a few bucks in that account. I basically cleared it out. So I don't know why how they would let it go through for 700 and something bucks. But I will have to try to call them tomorrow. Because I ain't on the hook for somebody's 700 and something dollar thing. You let it go through, you know, no money in the account. It's on you, not me. So I have to figure out what's going on with that. I saw there's some there's a girl over there. She's bent down to pick something up like could have been a cat, but I don't think it was. No, it looks like something white. Maybe a white dog. I guess I think that cat maybe uh he may have got lost from his owners. And maybe they couldn't find him or whatever, and he took off. Now he's looking for a new home. I don't know, but he ain't living in here. No litter box here. Right, people coming in. Like I said, it's already pretty jammed up in there. There's several spots open. 
I can't believe they're like three, four deep there in the middle. That's crazy. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. It helps. And as always, you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. We'll see you next time on Jellybean Outdoors.